Right, good morning everybody. Today we're going back to school. Hi guys, welcome. It's been a while since I did my last vlog, so I thought, why not? I'll start, I'll get back on the horse. I'll start doing it again, see how it goes. Uh, now the Olympics is behind us, it's, uh, it's a fresh start. We've got a few guys already training at Caversham, and those of us lucky enough to go to the Olympics are actually heading back to Caversham and training full time as of the 4th of October. So since the Olympics, I've managed to have a holiday. We've actually had six weeks off since Rio, which has been amazing. You know, normally we get two and a half weeks after World Championships, so to have six weeks is a godsend. You know, you get to reconnect with family and friends, people you haven't been able to socialize with because of commitments to rowing, and you get to go on holiday with your loved ones and spend some much needed time with them. And um, it's also an opportunity to do something that I'm doing today. It's a good way of um, making some appearances, spreading the word of rowing, just trying to get more children involved in it. I think it's a sport which we, as senior athletes within the, the uh, GP rowing team at Olympic level, we can strongly affect the grassroots of the sport. And I think going out and visiting schools and seeing children that maybe don't have the backing to necessarily go into rowing, um, they don't have the backing of, say, private schools who are lucky enough to have their own boat clubs. These children have probably never been exposed to rowing before and their only way of seeing rowing and taking part in rowing is either on the TV or joining a local club. And sometimes that information can be quite hard to come by. So I hope by going to the schools and doing what I'm doing today, I'm devoting an entire day to it, that these children will get on the rowing machine, maybe for the first time, and they might find out they enjoy it. They might find out that they're naturally gifted and talented at the sport, which will help my case a lot more because they'll be more inclined to take it up if they know that they're good at it from the get-go. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I'm gonna try and go for an entire year group. That's the plan. So that's 60 children. I've got five ergos. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, so uh, wish me luck. reasonably well. It's now half past three in the afternoon. School's finished and I've probably made it through six groups. Six groups of ten people, so 60 children. I think I made it through the whole of year six. I think they all enjoyed themselves. Um, it's been a fun day all in all. I don't think it gets to this often. As I said before, um, we're always away when we're racing throughout the year. So it's nice to come back and actually give a little bit back to the community. So that's 60 students who have never been on a rowing machine before in their lives and that's a pretty good feeling. Just trying to spread the word, give them a bit of insight into the world of rowing, let them know what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's nice to actually have time to do that from time to time. God, I see people on YouTube recording on this all the time. Am I doing something wrong? I think I must be doing something wrong. I think I need a suction, one of those suction cups that just sticks onto the window because this camera is bouncing around all over the place. I'm not breaking any laws. <laughs> you can't hide. Gonna fall. 